Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, the 2015 um, algebra question on the Leave Insert Ordinary paper. Part A, simplify three times four minus five X minus two times five minus six X. Okay, let's have a look at this. So three times four minus five X. So three fours, 12. Three by minus five X is minus 15 X. Minus two by five is minus 10. Minus by minus is a plus six twos, 12 X. Okay, so a couple of small things there. I was done multiplying by three when the bracket closed. And then be careful that you do that minus by this minus to give you the plus, okay? So there are two common mistakes. And then we tidy up. So numbers with numbers and, and X terms with X terms. So 12 minus 10 is two. Minus 15X plus 12 is minus 3X. That's that part done. So that was a nice little question there. So part B for 2015, list all of the values of X that satisfy the inequality two minus three X is greater than or equal to minus six. Okay, so just like we would any other algebra sum, I'm going to bring letters to one side and numbers to the other. Okay, so I'm going to leave the X's on the left and I'm going to bring that two over here to become minus two. So I have minus three X is greater than or equal to minus six minus two. Minus three X is greater than or equal to minus eight. Now here's the fun bit with inequalities. When you change the sign in front of X, you also change the sign over here, but you also change the direction of the inequality. So watch that one. So when you change the sign in front of X, you change the direction of the inequality. Okay, then divide by the number in front of X. Let me write that as a decimal, eight over three, 2.67. Okay, and I'm just checking I haven't made a mistake. Nope, that looks right. Okay, so it says list all of the values that satisfy X being less than or equal to 2.67. Okay, this is the part that's important. Now, what type of a number is X? Okay, so if I go to my log tables, page 23, um, it tells me all my number sets. So N is a natural number. And a natural number is also called a counting number. And if you start counting, you'll start at positive one, two, three, four, five, six. So the natural numbers do not include the negative numbers, do not include zero, do not include fractions. Integers then are given the letter Z. So they're positive and negative and zero. They're all the whole numbers. So no fractions. So the natural numbers are part of the integer set. A rational number is called Q. Um, it's trying to tell you these include the fractions. That's what they're trying to tell you here with P over Q. Um, so a rational number includes the fractions, but it also includes the natural numbers and the integers. Okay, they all feed down into, the, into each other. And how, for example, well, that number three there could be written as a fraction as three over one. So natural and integer numbers are also rational numbers. You then have in the middle here, Irrational numbers. So irrational, irrational is the opposite of rational. So an irrational number cannot be written as a fraction. Okay, so that's the likes of root two, for example, if you put root two into your calculator and hit equals, you'll get root two, which we call a third. And if you STD that, you get 1.4142, blah, blah, blah and you keep STD into it, you'll never get it written as a fraction. That's because it's got too many decimal places. It never convolves down to a fraction. Pi is another one that actually is an irrational number. And then rational and irrational numbers are part of what we call real numbers. And then there's a chapter in, in Leave Insert called complex numbers, and they are not real numbers, they come outside them.
Okay, but ours was a natural number. So the question says, what were the natural numbers that are less than 2.67? And you have to list them. Well, as you know, it doesn't include zero. So X is equal to one comma two. And that was your full answer. Okay, of course, and that's your full answer. You are often asked for a number line for this type of question. So make sure you also know how to do your number lines. Part C then said g of x is a function and 2 minus 3x multiplied by gx gives me 15x squared minus 22x plus 8 for all x is an element of r and r is our real numbers. We just did that. Find g of x. Okay, so not the easiest question to get your head around what they're asking, but if I said something to you like 2 multiply by box equals 16. Okay, you probably can work it out in your head what goes in the box, but the mathematical, mathematical way of doing it is to take 16, which is our answer, divided by two, and we get what goes in there. Okay, and we can do that because um, multiplication and division are the opposite of each other. Okay, so if I have two numbers here, and this is my box, multiplied by each other equals the answer, then if I take the answer and divide it, over the first uh, number, then I'm going to get my second number. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do here for C. We are going to take 15 X squared minus 22 X plus eight. And we're going to divide it by two minus three X, okay? So we did a couple of long divisions already um, last week. So if you'll remember from them ones, this is, is, is a much harder one of it, uh, simply from, from how it's written firstly, and secondly, the fact that they have the X term coming second rather than first. Because if you remember from our work last week, it's the X term we use to divide in. OK, so I would, in fact, write this one as on my outside, I would have minus 3x plus 2. OK, so I'm just switching around the order of these two. And inside, I don't change anything. OK, um, and, and, and mathematically, it's no different. I just literally switched the order. And of course, I could have done it here. I'd just be too afraid I would look at the wrong number. So I think it's cleaner just to write it out with the um, X term on the left, just like a, a traditional or a normal long division sum that you've done so far would, would look like. So you're asking then to figure out what value goes up here. What do I multiply by minus 3x to bring it up to 15x squared? OK, well, the first thing I need on the top is a minus so that I get minus by minus to give me the plus. I'll then need a 5 because 5 threes will give me the 15. And then there's x squared here. I have one x here, so I'll need another x up here. So I'll have minus 5x up the top. OK, you know you're right when you multiply that by the X term and you get the exact same value here, because what you want to do is eventually change the sign and then cancel out the X squared terms. So let's multiply that minus 5X by minus 3X and then by plus 2. So you'll remember from last week's work, we only use the minus 3X, the X term, when we're figuring out what goes on top. But when we're multiplying to calculate my remainder, we have to multiply it by the two bits on the outside. So firstly, minus 5x by minus 3x. Well, minus by minus gives me a plus. 5 threes, 15x by x, x squared. Then minus 5x by plus 2. Minus by plus is a minus. 5 twos are 10x. OK, put a line under. Uh, change the sign. Change the sign. OK, so then you get 15 X squared minus 15 X squared and they cancel and you know you're good. You know you're right when they cancel. I then have minus 22 X plus 10 X. So that will leave me with minus 12 X and take down the plus eight that you haven't used already. And you do it again. 
what must I multiply by minus 3x to bring it up to minus 12x? So I just get rid of those arrows because I'm done with them for now. So what must I multiply by minus 3x to bring it up to minus 12x, okay? Well, my sign first, so minus by plus will give me a minus. Four threes will give me 12. And I don't need another x because I have an x here. Okay, and then I go plus four by minus three x plus four by plus two. So plus four firstly by minus three x would give me minus four threes are 12 and the x on the outside plus four twos are eight. Put a line under, change the sign, change the sign. And what ends up happening is minus 12 plus 12 cancels, plus 8 minus 8 cancels to leave me with a remainder of 0. Okay, so your answer is that that g of x would have been minus 5x plus 4. Okay, it's the number on the top. Um, and of course, you, you can check this. because you can go to minus 3x and you can multiply it by your g of x. And of course you should get 15x squared minus 22x plus eight. So let's do that. Two by everything in the second bracket, minus three x by everything in the second bracket. So two by minus five x is minus 10 x, two by four is eight. Minus three by minus five, well minus by minus is a plus, five threes are 15, x by x is x squared. And then I get minus by plus is a minus, four threes are 12 x. So let's tidy up, my x squared term goes first. Then I tidy up my x terms, minus 10 minus 22 is, sorry, minus 10 minus 12 is minus 22 x. And then I just have the plus eight, okay? So you can see that you do indeed get your answer, okay? If you're struggling with long division as many, many students do, many students do not see where I get these values from or how do I know which bit goes where, okay? So the only way you can do them is practice, just pause the video, see can you get a bit of it, then work it out, when you get stuck, then play the video, go in one more step beyond it, pause the video again, try it and see how far you can get, play the video to help you, pause, play, pause. And eventually, if you do that a couple of times, you'll start to see all of the steps and you'll never need to um, replay the video because you'll have it. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our level seven in electronic and computer engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress on to the level 8 in electronics and self-driving technologies and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.